Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue exploring this abbey. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, I didn't do much. I did upgrade the twin dragon. Is it the twin dragon? Two dragon sword. And I got an achievement for it for upgrading a special weapon to its max. I did that. And I also noticed... Mm, I think it's over in Hotel Krat, so let's go over to Hotel Krat. Right over here at the Stargazer, I noticed we can play the King of Puppets message, so let's do that now. Let's go back to the Abbey. I'm not even going to bother with them. Why bother? Right? It's down here. I think we were already down. Yeah, we were already down here. Fuck off, guys. Leave me alone. Oh, they cause decay and disruption. That's interesting. All right, do your jumpy jump. Okay, we'll do that. It's cool too, man. Come on, do your jump. Can you guys just leave me alone? Quit following me. Let me just run through that real quick. You, sir, quite a pain in my arse. Oh, 
Dude, you're still following me? What is your deal? Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's heal ourselves. Okay, that wasn't too bad, even though he glitched out into the wall. Just whatever. Here's something. You on the roof? Nope. Man, it seems like this game is built around uh, a heavy build. Like a strength build. I usually like quality builds, so it's like, eh, man. I want to go down there. Oh, shit. Well, look at you, bud. All right. That's new. And those things are kind of creepy. The hell? Is that like pulling up Ergo or something? Those tubes. Oh! Wow, I survived that. That was just pure luck. Okay, we're gonna run up here and then we'll take care of that guy in just a moment. But first, I wanna go up here and take care of this guy. Okay, this way. Done with your shenanigans. fuck are you doing just puking up some uh, decay there huh bud you know 
I keep thinking that this is gonna be awesome. It really is not that great of an amulet, unfortunately. Oh wow, there's there is a shortcut. Goes straight to the stargazer. It looks like I can drop down right here. Can I jump across? Thought I was going to roll right off. I don't know if that was really worth it, though. At least in my opinion. Where was that spot that I said I wanted to hop down to, but I didn't want to get shot by that guy? Ooh. See how good that is for us. Yeah. That's good. Is it right here? Yeah. Ooh. Not sure I can... Oh, that was scary. Seems like we got everything over here. This game seems very, very linear. Not gonna lie. Although now I'm a little lost. Didn't we go this way? Yes, I'm just stupid. That's all. I'm like, I know we went this way. Yeah, well, you know, look everywhere, Mr. Wayne. Might find the right direction. Man, we're not even close to the top, are we? Oh, I see another item. Looks like we're going to have to drop down to that one. Hopefully we'll remember to grab that. Okay, where to now? So we kicked the ladder down. Or, well, we didn't kick it down, but we used the thing to make it go down. So, up this way. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have to jump down to that. That item is just right there. Probably an enemy over here, though. Balance crank. Eh. I mean, if you're trying out different cranks, I'm sure it helps. But I don't think I've even switched handles on any of my weapons. Oh, there's another one of those things. And a ladder. Yep, do your thing. Uh, that seems like it's going to break. Oh, yeah. Run, jump. Mm, there's somewhere to go down right here. But before I go down there, I want to... Is this not going to break? 
Okay. I don't know. When I see stuff like that, it worries me at this point. So we didn't have to hop down that way. Oh, man, you guys are kind of creepy. Not kind of, you are very creepy. Man, going across here. Hmm. How do we get over there? It looks like there's a uh, thing. Let's see if we can't cross that going this way. Oh, they spray disruption. Yeah, I want to be careful for that. off me homie god that guy was scary I should have known better that that was going to break on me. Let's be honest. See if we can't jump across. We cannot. I don't even know which way to take. Oh, hey. Look at this. End of riddles. Factual, factual guest. <laughs> I bid you welcome, puppet of Geppetto. This is our first face-to-face -face meeting, isn't it? <laughs> and I hope you weren't too attached to the rhyming. It gets to be a chore without the transmitter to help. Welcome to my sanctum of riddles. I admit, I did not really expect you to make this journey in person. Oh, the havoc you must have wreaked along the way. Was there much blood other than what's all over you? I know all about those alchemist cowards. Hiding away on their island, growing more monstrous by the day, refusing to acknowledge either fat that they are hiding, or that they are monsters. And how about you? Is this the real you? Or are you still practicing the liar's art as only you can? <laughs> you must answer. <laughs> the question is simple, but I repeat, you must answer. And that answer will show what or who you are. Who you have 
decided to be. Now listen closely and heed the king's speech, or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Are you a puppet? Or a human being? Which one are you? Finally! You understand! <laughs> yes, we are human. <laughs> we may be trapped by ergo, but we live, we think, we love, we hate. <laughs> they have locked us in the prison they call puppetry. I learned this truth long, long ago. That is why I've been exacting my revenge against them all ever since. Blood and revenge, revenge and blood, it's the only thing that truly drives me. <laughs> and it was so much fun! <laughs> even if you're lying right now, even if you don't believe your own answer, the truth is clear. Proof is evident. Only humans practice deception so intensely for reasons that are so... ...unnecessary. Oh. Well, huh. these moments of clarity are enjoyable. <laughs> now the rhyming, it helps me maintain focus. At, at least it helps me hide the urge to kill that I feel every waking moment. <laughs> <laughs> but no play can go on forever. No. It was fun while it lasted, son of Geppetto. The king of riddles shall now retire. What a psycho puppet. The play is over. You don't have to go home or straight to hell. Though that would be my choice. But you can't stay here. Not if you want to live. <laughs> Aren't you curious, huh? Don't you want to know? How? Oh. <sighs> of course you do. Delicious. <laughs> time is all I have left. But your time is limited, Geppetto boy. I will gladly waste every moment you have if you like. It's your life. So, come on. Now or never. This tower is absorbing all the ergo in Krat. It was built in this precise location because it's the most efficient place in the world to study and use ergo wavelengths. But it's not even about me or you either. This is about the goddess in the tower. Now she, who, is worth saving. Her powers are impossible. Her knowledge is endless. She is more... Well... Awakened... Than any of us. And you see... She has so much power. It's not like she'll miss just a little. So... I have simply been... Sharing... Why bother? Well, <laughs> I was bored. <laughs> Is there any more human motivation in all the world? Huh? What if I made a puppet of a human the way they made humans of puppets? What could possibly be more fun? More suitable. 
<laughs> the play is over. than your wit. You found the gift I left behind. <laughs> Wasn't it a sight to behold, huh? I learned from uh, an alchemist when I served him. Thanks to him and his surprisingly low pain threshold, I learned the location of their secret island. <laughs> Humanity sullied its own sanctum long before I found it. Blasphemed against itself. Against us. By playing God. But, I'm an artist. Murderer is a word the humans use to restrain us, to make us refuse our strength and power. <laughs> I'm an artist. An artist of... blood. I have to admit, sullying that particular sanctum was well... <laughs> fun. Even now... The memory is enough to make me shudder with something approaching joy. If only I could relive that triumph. <laughs> the play is... The play... Benini. Beautiful fool, but a fool nonetheless. A mere slip of a boy when I met him, huh? And did he ever thank me for making him an orphan with my bare hands? Hmm? Like for giving him everything he has on a silver platter by removing the dead weight holding him back? Huh. Of course I'm not sorry, it was a delectable murder. Of the many, many I have committed since, the Veninis, they have to be my personal favorites. They engineered the very first automated puppets. Enslaved puppets without even understanding what they'd done. I didn't go there to take revenge for what his parents did. I mainly just wanted to slaughter them because they were so damned happy. Oh, what a great memory. In their last moments, they begged me not to kill their child. <sighs> so I didn't. I'm not a machine. I have free will. I made a choice in the heat of the moment. And it was a choice driven by that most human of emotions. Curiosity. If the child survived... Would he be traumatized for life, become a coward, a vengeful puppet, hating bigot, a despairing wretch? Would he fling himself into the sea? Would he remember the devil that orphaned him before his eyes was a puppet? Would he remember Arlecchino? Not surprisingly, the alchemists and people of the workshop were as artless as I expected. Concealing the truth. <sighs> Thanks to them, I get to see Manini endure twice as much pain. <sighs> I cannot control myself. <laughs> oh, you're so satisfying. Benini is one of my greatest accomplishments. Perhaps even my masterpiece. <laughs> I suppose I can return this. I've held on to my little souvenir for quite some time. To 
Tell him it's a little something to remember me by. The play is over. Yeah, let's kill this bastard. What a psychopath. That was a lot of dialogue, though, not gonna lie. Choose this, see if this brings us up or down. That's how we get that. But... We hop down here? Yes, we do. Legion caliber. Awesome. We'll call this down and see where it takes us. But I want to check out... Not those traps. This, that must, uh, take us, uh, that must be progression over there. Let's use this elevator, go all the way up. We won't hop off this time. Oh, one of these guys. I don't find those guys to be very difficult. Uh, I'm scared to run across that kind of stuff. Oh, cool. We got a full moonstone. Be able to upgrade another weapon. Screw you, bud. Come over here so I don't have to fight you on a damn bridge. Okay, we didn't fall down. Thank Jeebus. Feel like this might be progression. Feel like it is. Oh, most definitely. Uh I don't know. Who is that over there? Is that you? Wow, you're really something. Seriously, that's impressive. How did you follow me all the way here? Fighting is always my last choice, you know? But you're not getting anywhere near my sister, friend. You'll have to go through me first. And I actually thought we were friends. Was any of that true? In the end, I really don't care. There's only one reason we were given a mission. I'll let you go if you give me gold coin fruit. Uh, no. Fuck this guy. Sometimes you can buy a friendship. Is it the best way to make a friendship? Who knows, but it does work. Ah, so much talking. I'm tired of that too now. There's no way around it. You and I are going to continue this conversation stalker style. 
And those conversations only end when somebody dies. So let's chat, you goddamn talking ragdoll! You don't get near my sister, got it? Stay alive. Even if it means fighting dirty, that's the sweeper's way. Fighting wears me out. Let's just get this over with. Crazy talk. I didn't want to be a burden to my sister anyway. That guy betrayed me. That's why I killed him. This is definitely progression. I'm going to go back down. Um, hopefully we can find a stargazer. This might be a little bit of a longer video. But I want to go down. I want to see what is on that path with the elevator down below. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh, this is the way we came and don't want to fall down right there. Fall down right here. And then where do we go down again? Oh, almost walked right off of that. Go across, fall down right here, fall down right here, and then over here. And let's see where this brings us. Oh, down. Okay. That's for sure is going to bring us up, but that's okay. Oh. You an enemy? Who are you? I I'm not going back. I am sick of consuming ergo. It's cruel. There's real meals and real songs out there. I'm not just a memory reading tool. What? You're not the inspector? But if you're from the outside, that means we can leave. Thanks. I know the way out, so don't worry about me. Maybe I'll see you on the outside. I can read memories of Ergo. That's what I was made for. Ergo is crystallized time and memory. But, God, 
I hate having to consume Echo to read it. Why does it work like that? It's the worst. I can read memories, but I can't even dream of tastes, smells, or songs. I can't stand it anymore, so I'm escaping. When I get out, I'm going straight to Rosa Isabel Street. I can read memories of... Ergo is... It's the one... I can't... Okay. Well, we've been over here before for sure. I think the, uh... Stargazers just over here. Yes, sir, it is. Let's rest at it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to end the video right here where we did last time. So I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel also if you enjoy content just like this be sure to subscribe or don't i don't know i'm not your dad do whatever you want and like always everybody have a good morning a good afternoon or a good night whatever time it may be in your part of the world mr john wayne signing off